What's up YouTubers, it's Dansky here. And in this video, we're gonna be learning how to create a signal network Wi-Fi kind of symbol. You'll probably see all over the place on all your smartphones, computers, what have you. Okay, so this one's a really simple one. We're gonna go over to here and click our arc tool. And we're gonna hold shift, click, and create something like this. Let's just get rid of the effects here. So I'm starting from scratch. And then what we're gonna do is select our rotate tool and we're gonna hold shift and click. So we're rotating in increments of 45 degrees. So for this, it's just 45 degrees, just to make it like this, this shape. So it's going from left to right. And what we're gonna do is just select that and increase the weight. And this can be as, as thick as you like. And then we've got butt cap selected by default. We're gonna click round cap and this just rounds off the edges. And now what we're gonna do is click this, hold shift and alt, click and drag. And then when we let go, we're gonna press command D on the Mac, control D on the PC, just to repeat that last action. You can do this as many times as you like, but we're just gonna have three parts, or four parts rather, to our Wi-Fi symbol. So now we're gonna select the middle one, and you can use a scale tool, or you can hold Shift and Alt, and it will scale it proportionally down to the center. And we're just gonna make this one a bit smaller. And the same with the bottom one, we're gonna hold Shift and Alt, or using the scale tool, and just bring that down so it's even smaller than the middle one. and space these out. You can space these out so they're nice and equal distances apart by selecting all of them. And going up here to the Align Options and Vertical Distribute Center. And you can see here that the space between each is now equal. And for the last bit, we could use the Ellipse tool to create a circle, but we know that our stroke weight is 40 points. So a cheeky way around this is zoom in really, really far select the line segment tool and just draw the tiniest line holding shift just so it's straight and then what you can do is with the direct selection tool just deselect and then hover over these anchor points and i'm just going to take this right one and holding shift i'm just going to drag it so it's on top of the left one so now we've created a stroke but the anchor points are on top of each other which just leaves a perfect circle and I'm just going to select everything and then horizontal align center just so it's all lined up nicely. So there we go, there's our finished icon. If we press Command Y on the Mac or Control Y on the PC, you'll see that it looks like that, which is great, but it's not really ready to use in any design. So we want to finish our icon, we want to finalize it. Now, what I would always do is I would always keep a copy of this icon in case I did want to change the end style or I wanted to change the weight or the width of the strokes. So I always keep an editable version. So what we can do is if we select everything and we're going to hold Shift and Alt to drag across and create a copy, this version on the right is going to be our final version. So we can select everything, go up to Object, Expand, Make sure that fill and stroke are ticked and click OK. And you can see the difference now. This one has finalized our shape, so it looks like this. And we can just go and select all these elements here. Unite with the Pathfinder palette. And now that's all one shape. So when we click, we can change the color to something else. You'll see it changes all elements within that shape. And there you go, that's how you create a network Wi-Fi signal kind of symbol. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please like, comment, share and subscribe for more. And I'll see you next time. Take care, guys.